Are you done? What is happening, people of the internet webs? This is the Lightning Chick coming at you uh, with another video. So, today I'm kind of excited because Final Fantasy 16, Final Fantasy 16 rumors and speculations is on the rise, and uh, it's a doozy, honestly. Um, uh, first off, I just want to say these are all rumors. Take it with a pinch of salt and take it from a guy on the internet who has no reason. To actually be doing what he does, he just does it for fun. Take it seriously. <laughs> but seriously, though, it's just all uh, rumors and supposed leaks, maybe if it comes true. If it's not, hey, it's fine. I mean, it's from 4chan, the most trusted. It's the source place ever. <laughs> so, yeah, just, just don't worry about it. Let's just, let's just check out what this guy has to say. So it's originally from 4chan, but here I actually found on like a Reddit uh, account on the Reddit. I'll leave a link to it in below. It actually summarizes it and it makes it much easier to read. So I'll leave this for you guys to actually check out because it's so much easier to read. You guys can look into it on yourselves. So I'll leave this in the link down below. So this is from Reddit from 4chan. So it's uh, 4chan to Reddit to me to you guys. So yeah, that that's... Let the chain of events begin, let's go! First off, I just have to say this may be true because for one, I cannot pronounce this and we all know Square Enix likes making stuff hard for me to pronounce. Uh, yeah, so Crimson Arbitrum. So this is the name of a brand new IP for Lum of Luminous Productions from Square Enix. This is true, Luminous Productions is making a new IP. So this could be very true because again that supports it, but let's keep reading. According to the information from an insider very close to marketing department of Square Enix's company, he has several important games to announce during the Summer Game Fest. That's good stuff right there, I can't wait if it's true. There are also Final Fantasy 16 which we'll get to later and the new IP of Luminous Studios Crimson Arbitrum Agnes Anthology so this was basically the trailer uh, tech demo for the next gen and all that good stuff okay Agnes philosophy is still beautiful up till today I'll never ever think of what other people say it looks good to me still and this got 4.3 million views this was in 2012 and still looks good up till today. Now let's look at this. So Crimson Arbitrum Agnes Anthology is an action JRPG game. Settled in a huge open world developed with Luminos Engine. Well, which is similar to Final Fantasy XV. And the combat system is de designed to place greater emphasis of elemental spells and how they can be modified by the main character in the environment transforming them into barriers or long distant projectiles that's pretty nice so like let's say if you in a swamp area you can use a swamp water as a barrier and then use the leaves as an attack I think I like that <laughs> that's that's what I think at least um, environment long distant projectiles and with this significant impact in the environments in which they are left the spells can also change the appearance of equipment uh, of the ability of weapons equipped and equipment too given different power-ups and changing some of the abilities the game games that's inspired the developers in creating the game were Final Fantasy the four heroes of light and Parasite Eve I've heard of Final Fantasy I'm sure Parasite Eve I've heard of the four heroes of light I'm not too sure maybe they're talking about the warriors of light I need to check that out the game is in development for PS5, Xbox Series X, and PC. It does not have a final launch date, but it has a launch window set for the fiscal year of 2022. Very interesting stuff, honestly. And also Agni's, uh, Agni's uh, Anthology seems like a nice game. And this is actually an image from the 4chan 
Uh, this is, I think, Agni. Well, I think so. Uh, was in a beautiful red dress. I, I, I can see like a steampunk aspect. It looks quite nice. But let's move on to Final Fantasy 16. Yes, Final Fantasy 16. We've been waiting for this. According to information I got from an insider, said the 4 Chana, very close to the marketing department of Square Enix's company, he has several important games to announce during the Summer Game Fest. And among these important announcements, there are also Final Fantasy 16 and the new IP of Luminar Studios Crimson Arbitrum, which we have spoken about like right now. Then we continue on with this Final Fantasy 16. It is an action JRPG with strategic elements. I like the sound of that. I think something similar to FF7, but let's keep reading. With an open world exploration of the game world. Final Fantasy 15 with macro areas of cities and dungeons Final Fantasy 15 with a rich open world <laughs> that's not Final Fantasy 15 <laughs> I'm just joking lads it's all for jokes over here R open world itself and a free exploration of entire continents so similar to all other Final Fantasies we can explore continents even Final Fantasy 7 the original you could explore continents that's pretty nice I like that. I hope we have an airship again. The main director of the project is Yoshida. This I can support because there was a thing he's directing and uh, this could be Final Fantasy 16. Hell yeah, I can get behind that, okay. And the game has a classic fantasy, again he wanted that in an interview, I made a video about that concept, uh, fantasy concept, but with steampunk elements and has a battle system inspired by Dark Souls and Final Fantasy 15. That's pretty nice. It's no... Uh, that's, uh, I like that. I really like that. Dark Souls meet Final Fantasy 15. Sign me up. The game will also see the return of the job system. I have wanted this. I wanted to make... Uh, I really want the job system to come back. I like that. I even said that in another video I made. But in a different key from the classic. So maybe they evolving it no longer like monk maybe fist fighter maybe i don't know and the ability to customize and change the equipment and even the name of the characters yes this is what i said my character creation stuff you create your own character technically somewhat but yeah that's also classic final fantasy 2 nice and then we get this right here the final piece of information the project begins his development in the 2017 don't know why they call him Final Fantasy 16 and he but that's fine 2017 with the Unreal Engine 4 and the team haven't decided yet if actually future converting the game for the Unreal Engine 5 the DLCs and expansions for the game are still in the planning phases by the development team but the top management of the company they suggest with a long with a strong will a game as a service approach with this project so I'm not too keen of the game as a service thing but uh, okay I'm, I'm alright with that but again I hope it's just single player I don't want another online game I don't play the online Final Fantasy games because I just don't like online games I'm a boomer <laughs> but they have established a primary release date of the game scheduled for the company's fiscal year 2021 which closes Windows first quarter and is a timed exclusive for PS5 so it's going to release 2021 allegedly which I like um, then they can space it out fine so Final Fantasy 7 remake this year Final Fantasy 16 next year maybe close to the end of the year Final Fantasy 7 remake part 2 uh, then the next year will be Agnes uh, Antholum and then at the mid of that year Kingdom Hearts comes out then the beginning of 2022 Final Fantasy 7 Remake comes out. I like that. I really like Final Fantasy 7 Remake Part 3 actually comes out 1st of 2022. That's just my thoughts of how the release window is going to go for Square Enix. And the other IPs I never include. But those are the games I cover. So yeah. I'm happy about that. I'm, I'm really happy about that. It's a very interesting stuff. I'm really hoping this um, Agnes Anthology is a real thing. Final Fantasy 16 is basically the stuff I've said the job class should come back I've said that I've also said maybe it should be open world 
I also said that you should customize your character in such a way it feels like one of those games where you can just customize your character and all that and it's not really cu it doesn't confirm customization but you can change the name of the character which you could do in the other Final Fantasy games and change weapon change classes all that I said in my character creation video and I'm happy that it's happening let me know in the comments section down below my mouth is dry jeez but yeah, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about Agnes and Thalum Anthology. I think I said it wrong, but and Final Fantasy 16. Do you believe in these rumors? Let me know, please. And I hope they are true. But again, I'm taking them with a pinch of salt. It sounds way too good to be true. And knowing the internet, it probably is. Anyway, guys, that is it for the video. Leave a like, helps me a lot. Comment down in the comment section down below what you guys think. Share with friends for sharing is caring. And most importantly, subscribe to become a fellow Lightning Bolt. Anyway, guys, that is it for this video. And as always, this is Lightning H8. Uh, blaze out.